So now we're gonna make the second game object. But firstly, I wanna make it colorful for this cube. So I'm gonna attach the red color for the cube. <coughs> and I'm gonna create a new game object. Well, probably I can go with the capsule. Okay. All right. So let's just create a new material for the capsule. Change the albedo. Okay, so yeah. Alright, so this is how the capsule goes. So we're gonna make the capsule moving forward, guys, when we click on it. So let's begin. We okay, I have to change this to materials and I'm gonna create a new folder for the script okay and I'm gonna put the rotated cube script inside here so now let's just focus with the new script which is um, I'm gonna name it move forward let's just name it um, forward capsule okay so let's open the script all right okay so you can see guys um, this class name it's not changed yet so we have to change the name to for word capsule okay same with our uh, script name in the unity okay something wrong with my mouse Okay, so you can see the name of the script is forward cube, you guys. So, yep, forward capsule. Okay, with capital F and C. So make sure uh, you have it there here the same. All right. So let's go with the update. Okay, firstly, we will make the name I mean we will create the same um, of the variable okay speed example we will make the speed and we will just make it transform dot previously it was rotation so now it's translation guys so translate and it's gonna be factor 3 dot forward dot time the delta time times the speed okay so let's just save this okay so we will see what is happening here firstly we're gonna assign this script to the capsule alright and 
we will see what is happening to the capsule okay it's working mm -hmm. what is wrong okay all right so you can see since i set it public here okay float so we can set how fast is it so let's make it 20 okay and let's play the capsule oh it's going so fast right okay so let's just make it five okay it's moving forward guys all right so it's five and now as usual we're gonna add an event trigger okay and we're gonna add the variable okay so i'm gonna add here public void change speed okay and we're gonna make it so uh, like what we did in the rotation so for now we want to make you can see that the the capsule moving there okay so we want that when we click on it it will move here not there so it will move to the other way so let's just it's very easy we have already here public float speed okay so we can just may, make it public void and change speed okay and let's just make it um, uh, speed equals to minus fit right okay and that's all right okay so the speed will be uh, moving to the other way right so let's just save this script and we have added the event trigger here so we can now just click on it choose pointer click and then plus button as always check the capsule here and then find the function which is forward capsule our script name and change keep change speed our function all right so you can see that we have put speed 2.5 here and well let's see whether we can move it to the other way when we click on it so let's play it let's go right okay and play it click it aha it is moving forward to us right guys so yep okay let's start it again play it and don't forget the alt button guys and just click on the capsule and you'll see it's coming to us oh and when we click it again it will go again forward there because it's minus guys so it is so fun to play with it mm -hmm. okay so yep all right there's a second function we're gonna go to the last function which is change the